Hey, what's up guys? My name is Rodolfo and welcome to another one of my hit film tutorials. This is gonna be like a simple tutorial about doing a sniper scope effect. Now when doing a sniper scope, you have two options. You can either just add the sniper scope on there and just be lame about it. Or you can do a little sum sum and just make it kinda cool. So I'm gonna show how to do the sum sum kind, which is pretty much it's gonna be looking like this. And it's not much, but it's pretty much just some distortion and some displacement maps added to the effect. Like you're looking through a scope or in glass and things like that. And it just kind of makes it cooler and adds a little to the shot. So yeah, let's get started. Now, so first of all, let's go to a new layer. Make sure it's white. And let's go to that layer of vignette or vignette, however you say it. I said the French way. So anyways. And yeah, so let's go and go to generate vignette. So yeah, let's go to the controls. So which is gonna be making the outside of the scope. And there's many different ways to do this, but this is my preferred way. So let's go to well the width is fine, but let's go to the height. And about right here is fine. So now let's right click on it, blend and click multiply so multiply pretty much takes out the white part and just makes it fit nicely over image and again there's many ways to do that you could use masks but i find that the easiest way to get the vignette layer on another layer that's not connected to your main footage that's a really nice way to do it so pretty much we have this going on right here so now we're gonna add some distortion to the effect because like, like i said like you're looking through a scope and it just kind of feel add the feel that you know the glass and scope and everything instead of just putting the sniper scope on there which looks fine but like i said kind of lame so just make something cool so let's go to distort make sure you click on sniper and fisheye warp and we add it on there and you see it kind of bulge out a little which looks cool so there's two different ways you can do this depending on what you want really like you need to like make it come out or make it go in and for this effect i'm gonna actually make it go in a little so that's how it would look like that's it without anything and that's it with that and if you were making it go in it would kind of look like that yeah let's make it noticeable about right here is fine so now what we're gonna need to do is add a displ displacement map around the edge right here just to kind of add like ah, i don't know how to explain it but you, you'll kind of see what i mean so next thing we're gonna need to do is get a new layer and it's gonna call plane and let's call it well it's gonna be called edge so let's call it that and just put it over everything and let's decrease the opacity so we can see and pretty much what we're gonna need to wanna do is make a donut shape with the plane so you're pretty much gonna mask out the outside and mask out the inside so we just leave with a donut looking plane so let's get the circles mask and hold shift as you do it so you get a perfect circle and go ahead and do it like this and let's go ahead and move it to be in the middle and now we're gonna need to add the inside so we already matched the outside now let's match the inside and let's get another one and this one make it smaller and still hold shift and go ahead and put it in the middle and try to make it fit in the middle as much as as precise as possible and instead of add we're gonna go to subtract and remove the inside area and let's go ahead and put the opacity back to 100 so yeah we're left with that donut shape mask around everything now the next step is to make it into a composite shot now let's say if we just imported a donut layer we didn't need to do that but since we didn't so it's the only way it's gonna work is if you make it into a composite shot. Most most things dealing with displacement map displacement maps, you'll find that you'll probably need to make it into a composite shot. So first let's go ahead and copy this and make composite shot. 
Now, the reason we copied it is because once we make the composite shot, you'll see that the masks are gone. So let's go ahead and delete this and just paste. So we have our donut shaped thing right here. And then let's click on the sniper, which is our main footage, and displacement map. Let's open this. It's going to add you for the source layer, and the source layer is the edge composite shot. And now we can go ahead and delete this, and it will still work. So very much, let's add the distortion. Not much. But as you can see, this when I move around, if you look at the edge right here, let me kind of zoom in. You can see this. So it's pretty much this would be like it's the end of the glass, and there's just like a lot of distortion near the edge. And this is looking kind of sharp right now. So let's just get and go to this one, go to blur, and add a little bit of blur on it. And now when we move around, like if you look at the edge, you can see it. Like it's just like some cool distortion. And we can zoom in on this. Like if you can see it, it's like a ripple. And that's how it looks. So yeah, the effect is pretty much done. And I mean, you can experiment and do different things with it. And like I said, it's a pretty simple effect, but it just kind of adds something to it. Instead of just putting the sniper scope on there, you can just add a little coolness. So let's go ahead and bring in our sniper scope. And this is from Shootout Stock Pack, my stock footage pack. That's one of the elements. But for this tutorial, you'll be able to download this on the website for free. So yeah, you get a free sniper scope. So thank me. And we can just scale it up a little bit. And that's what we have right here. Just a nice cool little sniper scope effect that kind of adds the ambience to it. Last thing I did for my effect, which you can do on your own, and I just added the grade layer, and went to presets, ready police color, and I made this preset called Transformers, and it's kind of like a Transformers movie look, if you've seen those movies, and yeah, add it on there and it looks cool. So yeah, thanks for watching this tutorial and I will try to put out tutorials more often. I kind of hit a stop right there dealing with school and things like that. So yeah, thanks again. And if you like what you see here, be sure to subscribe and check out my website for more cool hit film and filmmaking stuff. Thank you and have a great day.